Hi everyone. Can I let you guys in on a little secret? Is anybody else around? Come a little closer. So anyway, it's Friday night. I've got a little bit of dinner. I've got a new bottle of wine. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. that you guys are here. So hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another episode of Friday Night Wine Diaries. So I've got a little dinner planned here. I just opened up this bottle of wine right here. This is from Wink. This is from my December box. I'm calling it bo box number 21, but it's really box number 23 because I have two unopened boxes from the summer. So anyway, this is the wine that we are having tonight. It is from Wink, and again, it's from Torique Nacional. It's a Portuguese wine. It's got a little rooster right here on the label. It has a little story about the rooster. So let's see if this will focus enough so I can read it for you. So it says, Portugal's rooster El Basilo stands proudly on the bottle, ready to crow at the first sign of duplicity. Legend has it that this honorable rooster rose from the dead, wow, to prove the innocence of falsely accused Galician, sentenced to hang by the Portuguese powers that be, with a rooster by your side, the truth will always come out. It was kind of a sad story, wasn't it? Alrighty, so anyway, we've got our aerator in here. We are going to let that, well, you know what, let's just pour it in the glass, shall we? So, we have got my wine, kisses, and Valentine wishes glass right here. And this is again a wink, so I'm going to have a video. Maybe I'll do my first unboxing. I don't think I've done that one in a while. My first unboxing of Wink. Of course, it's changed a little bit. They've got new owners. Um, so the link used to give you a really nice discount. Um, it doesn't look like it does that anymore. So um, the link just kind of takes you over to their website, which will be in my description below. It's just going to ask you some questions about different foods that you like. Like, do you like your coffee black? Or do you like it with cream and sugar? Do you like Skittles? Do you like chocolate? Do you like pizza? Do you like, uh, are you a vegetarian? It's going to ask you all different kinds of food choices like that. From that, they are going to curate a box of wine for you. Um, they'll pick out four. You do tell them if you want reds or whites, or if you want like three reds and one white, or two and two, or whatever. So it does ask you that. And again, once they curate that box for you, they'll let you know what they picked out. You, of course, can purchase that from them, or you can say, no, thank you. Um, and of course, once you join, you can buy anything that you want. How they curate a box every month is that you give them your reviews on what you've tasted from them. Did you like it? Did you not like it? If you didn't like it, what was it that you liked that you didn't like about it? Was there a taste in there? Was there just something that just didn't sit right with you? Or is it, what did you love about it? Was it the flavor? Was it the body? Was it all kinds of things that could be, right? So anyway, that's how they curate your next boxes for you. And it's just been a lot of fun for me. And um, yeah, so we're just kind of going to let this kind of set right here. And I'll tell you a little bit about my dinner, if I can put this down without spilling it. So tonight, and I had purchased this before from Target. I don't know if it's everyone or it just is regional, regional, but it is a Tyson cook in the bag. And you can cook it in the oven like this. I just dump it and put it in my crock pot, just kind of let it cook all day. And it is a boneless pork shoulder. It's already seasoned and marinated. And as it cooks, it just kind of pulls apart on you. It gets really, really tender in the micro microwave in the crock pot. So I had that kind of cooking during the day. 
I wanted just some extra flavor in here. So I had a little bit left of my Four Brothers barbecue sauce here. So it's marvelously maple and it's a honey barbecue. It's also like a dipping sauce. Four Brothers, I'm pretty sure, is something kind of local to this area. Um, they're up, I think they're from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Home of Marshall Lurican from How I Met Your Mother. And of course, they got a really nice hospital up there too. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what I cooked. I thought I had french fries, but I didn't, but I did have tater tots. I put some tater tots on the side, and I put this on a honey bun. Of course, I melted it a while ago, and then I sit here and get ready to do things, so it kind of hardens up a bit on me. But anyway, so that's what this looks like, and I've had a few pieces already. It is really, really nice and tender. It just falls apart in my mouth. I've got enough left from the crock pot, so this will be a few meals during the week for me. Whether I just have uh, one of those Hawaiian rolls for lunch, um, or I think I, I've got I've got a baked potato, and it's like one of those big honking ones left. So I think I might do that, and I don't know if I want to do it in the air fryer or in the microwave. One or the other, that way it's really quick. And um, yeah, I just kind of open it up, put some of that meat in there with some cheese. It's going to be an awesome, awesome either lunch or dinner. So anyway, that's what we're having. And um, yeah, I lost my glass there for a second. I know, it was like ready to have a little bit of panic. Alrighty, so we've had this in the glass. We have this aerator on. And I'm just going to kind of swirl it around a bit. It is really coating my glass. I have no idea how to get you guys to see that. But it is really coating and really sticking to the edges of the glass. It tells me it's got a really higher alcohol content. It is a nice deep, deep purple. And I'm just kind of swirl this around. Now they call that like legs when it sticks to the glass. And I used to think it was sugar, but I guess that tells you what the alcohol content is. Who knows, maybe the sugar is what helps makes it full of alcohol, a higher alcohol content. I don't know. I'm still learning. I'm just a novice here. Alrighty, so we've got this kind of swirled around, kind of get some air in there. Get all those fragrances to kind of unleash and unwind. Mmm, smells good. I smell cherry. Maybe strawberry, not sure. I feel some heat right here. I don't know if that's the alcohol or if maybe there's like a pepper in here. Mm, but I can feel like my mouth is watering back here. Anyway, I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous week. We are still in Valentine's month. So again, I'm all in red again for Valentine's month. This really fun month. Never thought I had a lot of red before, but I have a lot of red clothes. I have no idea where they came from. Alrighty, ready? I'm going in. I hope everyone had a fabulous fabulous week. I hope you are ready to party hardy or just relax. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sick of this cough. I really am sick of this cough. But anyway, that said, back to my cheers, right? So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend planned, whether you are going to binge watch maybe your favorite TV show, or maybe you got a new DVD with a series, or maybe you're going to go out to the movies. I know, I haven't done that in a while. Or maybe you're going out for dinner. Maybe you're trying to do some sightseeing, go for a scenic ride, just get away someplace. Have a little bit of fun. You've worked hard all week. You guys deserve some fun. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's nice dry run. And feel it up here. You can feel it down in here. Back here. I'm not going to say it's tart, but there's so much acidity from the fruits in here that your mouth really starts watering. The flavors just kind of come alive. When you get that acidity, the flavors just kind of come alive. Start really bouncing back there. Again, I'm, I'm sensing strawberry, cherry. I don't taste like any wood. Sometimes, a lot of times with the dry wines, you can taste maybe like an oak or a cedar barrel. I don't taste anything like that. It's nice. It's smooth. I'm going to say medium body. I get the sensation that I walked into a the saddle shop where they have, um, well, it's a saddle shop, but they also custom made some belts, um, boots. Of course, they have boots that they buy um, and sell, but they make their own there. It's really, it's a really cool store. Really some nice um, soft vest and of course saddles and things like that. They also custom made the saddle shop, made, I'm going to call it a bra for Vicks. 
um, the Ultra Limited when he put the sidecar on it because he was afraid when he had his um, prosthetic leg. Um, he was afraid that he couldn't lift it up high enough and he didn't want to scratch the, the gas tank. I mean, you know, men have their priorities. This was don't scratch the gas tank. So they made this custom leather, I'm going to call it a bra, to go over the gas tank so that it wouldn't get scratched or damaged. And I, I don't know, I'm just the smell. They also custom made a, um, a collar for, um, it was Baby Eve. They made her a nice collar with some pink rhinestones and stuff in it. It was really nice. Most people could probably wear it as a belt, but it looked really cute on her. Anyway, I'm going to have another quick sip just to confirm. Cheers, everyone. Mm. You know, I think it does have the higher alcohol content than some of the wines I get. But I think the heat here that I'm feeling is an alcohol. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of pepper in here. All right, so let's put that down. Watch that heart fall into my drink right there. And I'm going to have a little bite of this pulled pork. Like I said, it just it just fell apart in that crock pot. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Mmm. This is so mild it's so tender you don't have to put extra barbecue sauce on it if you don't want because it is marinated and seasoned already but that has got it's a really really awesome flavor i might have to find a new home for this glass anyway cheers everyone it's gonna have a sip to wash it down then i'm gonna read my cheat sheets cheers I swallowed that a little too fast. It's really good though. This is really good. Alrighty, so let's tell you what Wink says about this wine. Alrighty, so it's 2020 and it says it's a far and wide Churriga Nacional. It's from Portugal. It says a far and wide explore single varietal, varietals from the far reaches of the globe, like Tariga Nacional, Portugal's most revered indigenous red grape. So this must mean it's just kind of grown in that region of Portugal. Originally native to north, northern Portugal, Portugal, Tariga Nacional is a small, thick-skinned grape traditionally used in the production of port wines. However, it makes a strong case for its increasing use to make dry red wines, and this bottle helps showcase why. The grapes for this wine saw aging in stainless steel, which would explain why I didn't get a sensation of any oak or cedar or wood, anything like that. So it results in a plush aromatic wine that shows red fruits, cured meat, and spice with a medium bodied profile. It can be served slightly chilled, which makes it a great summer into fall to pair with grilled meats. Now, mine is room temperature. I have my heat set at 63. Yeah, I know it's it's cold, but you know, girl has to eat too. Um, so anyway, so this is about 63 degrees and it's, it's perfect. So the notes, let's say it's luscious, it's round and smoky. It's got notes of red cherry, leather, bell pepper and strawberry uh, medium body dry and the alcohol is 14.2 so a lot of the red wines are going to be a little bit higher in alcohol content than the white but 14.2 still isn't you know that like whoo you can't drink uh, and then go walking down the hall yeah I, I think i should be fine yeah i should be fine so it says how to serve it says chilled then let it warm up in the glass it says it pairs well with pizza chinese cured meats and barbecue so this is kind of like barbecued right so anyway it is a really good wine i am glad that they picked this wine for me i think this is one of the bottles that um the boxes that i didn't pick out anything it was i was trying to cancel it and they shipped it but you know what i'm really happy with the two wines that i've had from this box so far they've been really really good and i'm excited to finish my dinner i'm even more excited that i got to chit chat with you guys for a little bit you know, it would be fun if I could see the screen and do like a live and chit-chat back with you guys. That would, that would be really fun. 
it's going to be a way that I can do it. But anyway, for now, we'll just have to do it this way. Looking forward to hearing your plans for the weekend and your plans for dinner tonight. If you get to watch this later on during the weekend, I'd love to hear what you did and just uh, just some fun things that are going on in your life. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to come and visit me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. It really means the world to me. So thank you so much. I hope everyone just goes out has fun. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Catch you later. We will catch you guys later. Bye.